Hey, what's up, everybody? So welcome back to my channel. In today's video, what I'm about to show you is how to run Windows 8 or 10 on Mac OS Catalina. So I'm quite sure that most of you have already known about the bootcamp used to install Windows on Mac OS. But what I'm about to show you today is not on bootcamp. Because honestly speaking, I'm not a big fan of Bootcamp, the built-in software on the Mac OS. The reason for this is that if you use Bootcamp, you can run the system only one at a time. For example, if you want to run Windows, you have to restart your Mac in order to use Windows. And if you want to switch back to Mac OS, you have to restart your computer again, which is annoying because sometimes you really need the Mac and the window at the same time. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can run two systems at the same time, meaning that you can run window and Mac OS at the same time. In this video tutorial, I'm running window 8 and Mac OS Catalina at the same time. For your information, you can also run window 10 if you like, if you prefer. But after testing window 10 on my Mac, I found that Windows 10 does not run as smooth as uh, Windows 8 on Mac OS Catalina. So I prefer running uh, Windows 8 on Mac OS Catalina. What I like best when running two systems at the same time is when I can copy the files across the systems. Meaning that I can copy the files from Mac OS to window by just dragging the files and drop them to the window and drag the files from window to Mac OS. Because sometimes when I run two systems at the same time, I really need files because I have used uh, Mac OS for a long time. So some files that I need uh, on Mac OS, not on Windows. So having the ability to uh, drag and drop files across the systems is really powerful and is something that I really, really need. Okay, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is to download VMware Fusion. So make sure that you download this software and install on your Mac OS. After installing the VMware Fusion, please launch the Fusion. Second of all, you have to download the window. It could be Windows 10 or Windows 8 that you are planning to use on this Mac OS Catalina. But as recommended, the Windows 8 works very well on this uh, VMware Fusion because before installing the Windows 8, I tested Windows 10. It didn't run well. That is why I decided to go for the Windows 8 instead. Pay attention to the file types as well. As you can see, this is .iso. Okay, now it's time to drag the Windows file onto the VMware Fusion. Just drag and drop. And now, let's click on continue and it's up to if you want to fill in password but I just leave it blank because this is my personal computer so choose window 8.1 you don't have to choose pro I continue without key because I don't have a key you don't need one please choose more isolated for your information as well isolated means the drag and drop if you choose the first one they have, they, the system will create a folder where you can access, uh, for example, from Mac to a window. But this is a bit slow comparing to drag and drop. As I show you from the beginning of this video, it's very quick, right? Just drag and drop back and forth between the two systems. Then click on finish and save. You can change the location of this windows as well. And then click on play button. You can see here. And now the window is being installed. You don't have to do anything. Just sit back, drink coffee, eat something. Okay, waiting everything to be done. So it might take some time, like 10 to 15 minutes to set up a new window on this. Okay, now it is installing VMware tools, meaning that it tried to get more drivers for your Mac to run Windows 8 on the VMware. So all the drivers are 
being downloaded and installed automatically so again you don't have to do anything as you can see I can start using uh, the window 8 right now yeah this is window 8 and now you can install window software you can install any software that you like okay so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions just let me know in the comment down below please subscribe my channel if you haven't done so because I can't wait to see you guys in the next videos thanks